Let's try doing the graph transformation of y equals 3 times secant of x plus pi over 2. So we have our x values and our secant values. So our first step is to find x plus pi over 2. So 0 plus pi over 2 is pi over 2. Pi over 6 plus pi over 2 is 2 pi over 3. Pi over 4 plus pi over 2 is 3 pi over 4. Pi over 3 plus pi over 2 is 5 pi over 6. Pi over 2 plus pi over 2 is pi. 2 pi over 3 plus pi over 2 is 7 pi over 6. 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 2 is 5 pi over 4. Pi plus pi over 2 is 3 pi over 2. 5 pi over 4 plus pi over 2 is 7 pi over 4. 3 pi over 2 plus pi over 2 is 2 pi. And 7 pi over 4 plus pi over 2 is 9 pi over 4. Now we have to find the secant of these values and multiply it times 3. So let's do the secant of these values first. So the secant of x plus pi over 2. The secant of pi over 2 is undefined. The secant of 2 pi over 3 is negative 2. The secant of 3 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2. The secant of 5 pi over 6, 2 divided by square root of 3. The secant of pi gives us negative 1. The secant of 7 pi over 6 gives us negative 2 square over square root of 3. The secant of 5 pi over 6, I'm sorry, the secant of 5 pi over 4 is a negative square root of 2. The secant of 3 pi over 2 is undefined. The secant of 7 pi over 4 is square root of 2. The secant of 2 pi is the same as the secant of 0. Its period is 2. It gives us 1. And the secant of 7 pi over 9 pi over 4. That's the same as secant of pi over 4, so that's square root of 2. And now we need to multiply these values by 3. So we get negative 6, we get negative 3 square root of 2, we get negative 6 over square root of 3, negative 3, negative 6 over square root of 3, negative 3 square root of 2, undefined. 3 square root of 2, 3, and 3 square root of 2. So then when we plot these points, we see that 0 is undefined, as well as pi. And in between, then at pi over 6, we're at negative 6. At pi over 4, we're at negative 3 square root of 2. At pi over 2, we're at negative 3. And then we start working our way back down. And on the other side, at 5 pi over 4, we're at 3 square root of 2. At 3 pi over 2, we are at 3. And then we're working our way back up. So this is our graph. We have been shifted left pi over 2, and we've increased vertically by a factor of 3. And our period is 2 pi over k. k is 1, so our period is 2 pi. Now let's have you try graphing negative secant of 2x and also find the period. So the period is 2 pi divided by k. k is 2 right here. So 2 pi over 2, which means our period is pi, so we should be repeating every pi. So our first step to transform is to multiply x by 2. So we have 0 pi over 3 pi over 2, 2 pi over 3 pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi, 5 pi over 2, 3 pi, and 7 pi over 2. 
So we'll deal with this negative sign later. First, you're going to find the cosecant of these values in this column of the 2x. So cosecant of 0 is undefined. Cosecant of pi over 3 is 2 over square root of 3. Cosecant of pi over 2 is 1. Cosecant of 2 pi over 3 is 2 over square root of 3. Cosecant of pi is undefined. Cosecant of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. Cosecant of 2 pi is undefined. Cosecant of 5 pi over 2 is 1. Cosecant of 3 pi is undefined. And cosecant of 7 pi over 2 is negative 1. So now we need to take all these and multiply it by this negative 1. So we have negative, negative, negative. This becomes a positive, a negative, and a positive 1. So now let's graph. We are undefined at 0 at pi over 2 at pi and 3 pi over 2. We are negative 1 at pi over 4. We are positive 1 at 3 pi over 4. Negative 1 at 5 pi over 4. And positive 1 at 7 pi over 4. And then we see that we are at negative, then negative, negative 2 over square root of 3. We have 2 square root of 3. We would have take, done our table with more points. We would have found this shape. We also know the general shape of our... We also know the general shape of our cosecant function. So we can use that to help us. And so here we have our graph of cosecant. It's been shrank. It's been shrunk horizontally by a factor of 2, and it's been flipped over the x-axis. And it's been flipped over the y-axis.